All right, today's uh, the day after our trip to Livingston, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back onto this uh, longhorn steer and work on his head and get as far as I can today. I'm down here kind of late in the afternoon, uh, but I'm just going to try to get as much done as I can. I <sighs> had a slow start today. All right, I've got some uh, good anatomy pictures of uh, the head of the the uh, bovine. Like I said, I can't get it of a longhorn steer, but I do get it of a cow. And uh, I'll just do the best I can and try to make it look like a longhorn. I got these uh, off of a video uh, on uh, YouTube uh, on a 3D uh, anatomy of a cow. And they really are great little snapshots that got off the uh, video. All right, I'm going to get busy. Time to play with some clay.
Okay. Base is starting to come together. It's really amazing how similar the facial structure muscle-wise of a cow is the same as a horse. Just different structure because of the uh, shape of the uh, skull of the uh, cow or steer or whatever you're sculpting. It's basically the same thing. I'm noticing. Now there's a gentleman that wanted to know how you use tools. Well, this is a wire tool and uh, this is how I use it to uh, blend in some of the uh, clay that I've uh, added to the uh, head of the um, cow, the uh, steer, and I use it to uh, move clay around and to shape it. Like I said, it just depends on what you eventually figure out how to use these things. Same with the ball tool. I didn't have anybody show me how to use it. I just saw things that uh, might work well with a ball tool and I tried it and it worked out fine. It's just a matter of sculpting, basically. Don't overthink it, just do it. There's a major muscle right there that comes down over the top of the eye. It gives the uh, characteristic eye of the uh, horse, uh, <laughs> not the horse, <laughs> the steer uh, over the eye. And it goes back to the horn. All right, that's going to have to be it for tonight. I just uh, run out of time. But I, uh, if I don't quit a certain time of night, uh, what happens is I run out. Of, I, I start doing my video, and it takes probably an hour and a half to do the video and probably another two or three hours to, to render it, and then I have to upload it, which doesn't take a lot of time, but it's getting up to loading it to takes time and I want to go to bed early tonight because I got a long day tomorrow all right that's going to be it for today and I'll pick this up tomorrow and work on this I I hear as well and 
to see how far I can get. Hope you guys have a great night. I hope a little bit of an answer to the uh, gentleman uh, questioning what to do with some of the tools. Well, I think I just uh, settled that a little bit. It's, it's not science. It's just what you learn how to do as you do. Is that a is that an educated term? <laughs> Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.